Alright, rank 5 Lady Deathstrike. This character is phenomenal, man. And when she first came out, there was a bit of like a debate going on because at first she didn't seem all too great, right? But as time progressed a little bit, people realized that yeah, this character is pretty dang crazy because she is so good at just destroying mutant characters. Like that's her whole thing, I feel like. She is just a monster at just completely shutting down like any mutant champion, right? Um, but her best fight is by far Weapon X, because with Weapon X, everything is just countered completely, because with her heal block, she counters mutant unstoppable and unblockable abilities, and Weapon X, that is his whole thing. Like, without those two things, he is just nothing, right? And the heal block as well makes it to where he just can't regen either, so this is her best fight by far, and it is just, it's crazy, man. She does this fight so fast. Like, Lady Deathstrike is just such a fun champion as well, but her damage output is just monstrous too. And it might not look like it is, but it really, really is. The thing is, her red numbers might not be the biggest, right? But they add up a lot. Like, you can see here, I have like, what, 30 ruptures almost? Like, when she gets going, the damage output is just insane, and she honestly is one of the best tech DPSs in the entire game. In longer fights, she is the best tech dps it is just some very very wild stuff and there that was a minute and 17 seconds could have been faster though because of like you know his ai was a bit weird there but it is what it is now we have this regen lane and besides just countering every mutant in the game she also is just a very reliable heal block character so she can take pretty much any tech lane that requires heal block which is a surprising amount of them to be honest and the best part is she also has a ton of armor up buffs and passives which also get a big benefit for these tech lanes so yeah it is just a very nice time like she just has a lot of stuff going on that like matches tech tropes while she isn't like the most utility wide character what she does she does very very well like she is such a good heal block character her armor ups are like permanent pretty much so yeah, what she was designed for, she just does very, very well. And um, we're doing some pretty nice damage output here with the medium attacks, but keep in mind, her rupture scale off of armor rating only. So while we get Fury passives here, it only helps the base attack damage of Lady Deathstrike. The ruptures stay the same, unless we get like an armor up buff or something from a node, right? So just keep that in mind there. And honestly, I feel like this is done pretty well. Um, there are other characters that scale off of different things, like for example, Sam Wilson and his SP2 scales with armor rating 2, and you know, that was just, that didn't really work too well, but with Lady Deathstrike, it does work very, very well, actually. So, I'm a, I'm a fan of it, to be honest, and yeah, like, Lady Deathstrike, no complaints, she's just a very solid character, and right here we have this Red Guardian here, and I've seen a lot of comments saying that she only works for mutant characters, which is just not true at all. This character works for a lot of stuff. It's not just mutant characters. It's not just tech lanes. She is just a very good general damage dealer, to be honest. So, yeah, I just, I don't know what that's about, man. People just really didn't like this character at first, but I feel like as time progressed, people are starting to just, you know, be accustomed to this champion, which is good because this champion is going to be the future of the game, I feel like, because she is just really, really strong. But yeah, this fight's pretty much over here. We get some nice 13,000 light attacks there. Pretty sweet. And yeah, that was like, what, 52 seconds? Pretty solid. Um, Yeah, I just love this champion. I love the animations. I love the design. I think it's very, very good. I am just a big fan of this champion. I When I saw like the trailer, I was like, yeah, I need this character. I need her really, really badly. And I opened some Paragon Crystals for her, and I got 770 Moonstar instead which is fine, and you know, I, I like Danny Moonstar, um, but if I had to pick one, I would pick Lady Deathstrike as a 7 star all day, but to be fair, Lady Deathstrike does kind of want high sig for some fights, but um, doesn't matter though, just to have the character, I'm really like happy with this. I grinded my heart out for this champion, and the worst part was, I actually missed round 1, which was unfortunate, but it was just because I didn't take the grind seriously, but then I was like, you know what, I gotta have this character, so I did round two, back to back, very painful stuff, right? Uh, but I got her, now she's rank five, and now I do not regret it because she is just so much fun to play, man. And I feel like she does have a lot to prove, and I feel like there will be people that like this champion, and people that will not stand this champion, because the way she works is, you want to be very aggressive, you want to not block, you just want to just play as aggressive as possible, just no care in the world, just go in, just go all out that's how she works and some people like that 
Some people don't like that, which is understandable, but for me personally, I like just being as aggressive as possible. You know, I play Adam Warlock, I play Hulkbuster, I play the aggressive characters, I play Mole Man all the time. I love my aggressive champions. So Lady Deathstrike being very aggressive is just perfect, and I'm a big fan of this playstyle. And while you can't block with her, once you master the champion, there are ways to work around like that mechanic with like her nanobot regenerator, which is really, a really strong by the way. There's also her unstoppable, there's also just like having good management of the AI as well. Like there's a lot of ways to make this character good. And while there is like some easy ways to play her like the SP2, once you get her like mastered, she becomes so much fun because there's just so much like risk and reward with her. And I just love it, man. I really just do love it. And the reward is very, very rewarding, to be honest. Like, she hits so hard. She really does hit just insanely hard. And now we have this Rage Lane. And Lady Deathstrike is just all about the damage over time, right? And honestly, there are more scenarios to where damage over time is preferred. Because damage over time bypasses things like Safeguard, like Rage. It is just a really nice time. And I love champions that have DOT, like, you know, I play Hawkeye all the time, I play Mole Man, Hulkbuster is somewhat DOT. Honestly, no, he's more of a, like, raw damage dealer, but, you know, I like, I like DOT characters, right? I really do love them. So Lady Deathstrike being ultra-aggressive, being DOT as well, it is just perfect for me, right? And I just love this champion so much. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm still so happy that I ring 5 there, man. I'm really happy about that. But yeah, this fight is going very, very well. We have, like, 25 ruptures stacked up. He is just melting at this point. We dropped SP1 here. And yeah, just no chance. He is just done. Like, the fight is just pretty much over now. Uh, the rupture damage is just so, so good. It might not seem good because of, like, the little tiny ticks, but when you think about all the damage output that's happening there at that moment, it is a ton of damage over time, and it is just really, really strong. Now I have X23 on this lane, and Lady Deathstrike if I remember correctly, just really hates any Wolverine, right? I think that's, like, how the story is. Like, something about her father's legacy and, like, Wolverine stole it. It's pretty cool stuff. I need to read into it for sure because I really like this champion. Like, she looks so cool design-wise. So I just want to know more about her, right? And, yeah, the fight's going pretty well. We have, like, what, 17 ruptures stacked up already? Like, once she's in Ferocity, the damage output just becomes really crazy. And it just, it stacks up so much. Like, it just stacks up so so high like look at this we have 20 what nine ruptures now very sweet stuff the damage just keeps getting higher as well because with her combo meter as it goes up she gets armor up passives and these passives increase her damage output as well uh because you know they give her armor rating and like i said she scales off of armor rating only for her ruptures which is cool i think it's cool i think it's very unique it's very fun as well just a pretty nice time and yeah clean fight there like 50 something seconds very nice now we have this uh aggression regen lane and like any regen lane she just is so so good for man like that's just that is her best thing just regen countering it completely it's perfect her debuffs are great as well like her ruptures they add up a ton for like any debuff lane she can just take with absolute ease she just has a very solid kit while it's like not the biggest kit out there like she doesn't take everything with ease what she was made for, she just works for perfectly, right? And with how the game is right now, with like there being 250 plus characters, fun fact, Deathstrike was the 250th champion, which is pretty cool. Um, with like that many champions, I like characters that are targeted towards one thing in specific and that just counter that one thing very, very well. That's what I like. I feel like that's like what the game is going to move towards, to be honest, because having general champions at this point doesn't really feel like necessary because we have we have that already with some champions right so just pinpointing like one you know very annoying thing and just having your like counter completely is a very solid thing in my opinion i feel like it is just a great way to make a champion so big thumbs up for me and not only that she still is good for general things like her damage output is still very very strong so she can just be a general quester as well like she does have that general use too but she does have an obvious target to hit and that is just countering every mutant champion with absolute ease so yeah this champion i think is just designed so so well but yeah this fight's going pretty well we just have a lot of rupture stacking already we just got started as well so it's going pretty good so far 
Um, her damage output is just looking pretty sweet. We dropped the relic here, which by the way, this relic is probably the best for her because it gives you increased potency on your damage over time debuffs and increased duration as well. So just very good for her, though I feel like she will get her own relic very, very soon. I, I mean, not soon now because they like dropped the relics for a long time. But it is what it is. Um, this fight's pretty much over now. Just the ruptures are stacking up very, very high. And yeah, the fight is now done. And to end things off here, we have this Mr. Sinister boss. And this boss is pretty annoying. But with Lady Deathstrike, she just does it very, very well. And um, do not mind the beginning of this fight. Do not mind it whatsoever. <laughs> I forgot that this had vigorous assault. But the thing with Lady Deathstrike is, once the heal block is active, we counter the unblockable completely very very nice stuff there like she just counters it 100 which is very very solid and also check this out he drops sp2 right here we are concussed but we don't care about that because with lady deathstrike against mutant champions she is immune to ability accuracy reduction so like that's why she's so good for domino because you just cannot you cannot fail her stuff right which is perfect because you can't take the critical failure damage so she is just made for domino and made for weapon x and made for just any other mutant in the game she is just made for mutant champions and the best part is she is great for other things as well not just mutant champions so this fight's going pretty well so far um here he drops sp2 we don't care because we cannot be concussed which is just perfect and yeah the fight now is just going very very well and yeah the unblockable is countering now because of the heal block we dropped sp2 right here and check out this damage output it's pretty sweet like a what twenty six thousand attack right there pretty dang good and yeah, the fight is just in our control, and it's just going pretty dang well. Here, he drops SP2 again. We don't care. We cannot be concussed. Fun times. We drop the SP1 again, and the fight is now pretty much over, to be honest. Um, check this out. We go back in. We just block that, actually. We go back. Fight's done. Simple as that. Very sweet time. About a minute and, like, something. Very good time for a boss fight, to be honest. And yeah, Lady Deathstrike is just a very sweet character. She has her, like, niche, but she's also just pretty good in general for, like, other tech lanes. And just any fight in general, to be honest, she's just pretty good for. So yeah, Lady Deathstrike, fantastic character. Love your thoughts on Lady Deathstrike, and yeah, that's about it for me.